Good morning, it is Saturday. It's almost 7.20. Madison and I are loaded up in the new to us truck going to motorcycle school. This morning, first few hours is gonna be classroom work and we take a written test. And then a few hours on the motorcycles outside, we'll have eight hours of riding tomorrow. And once we get done with all that, we pass, we'll get our certificates, we'll have our basic rider course completed. Also wanted to uh, give a quick update on the check engine light from yesterday. I was able to clear the light and it gave us a code that the oil pressure sensor switch, it thought there was a problem with that. I got to thinking about it, maybe what the problem was, we went up a really steep hill the way out of Tulsa. The truck downshifted twice and the RPMs jumped way up. With that, the oil pressure jumped way up. Maybe it fooled the computer into thinking that there was a problem. I don't want to make light of the a check engine light's no big deal. Sometimes it can be, and this could still turn out. I'll have to watch it. I'm not too worried about it right now. Just like everything else, we'll keep an eye on it. We're gonna go get a couple of cold pops <laughs> and uh, get to class. We'll check back in later. Good morning, it is Sunday. It's about 6.35. Madison and I are back at motorcycle school for day two. Here at the Expo building in Enid, Kurt and Bobby are our instructors. They're doing a great job. They're teaching us all about motorcycles and basic safety. Hopefully things will go well today again. Um, we had fun yesterday, had a good time. Madison was really nervous, but she got through it. I think she started to actually have a little bit of fun too. Today we're starting a little earlier. We're starting about seven. Class is supposed to start at eight, but everyone wanted to start at seven here a little earlier and that way it gives us a little more time if we need it for some of the newer riders. We stopped at Sonic. We're going to finish our breakfast and then uh, go get our day started. Hey everyone, we just finished lunch. John and Madison went back to finish up motorcycle school. They have the driving test and then the written test um, when they get back. So Mallory and Maggie and I are here and they're just in their beds chilling out before we make the long drive home and I'm going to pick up lunch and clean the trailer and you guys are going to join me while I do that. <laughs> We've had a really good time while we've been in Enid. Um, we've been busy. When we got here Friday night, it was already dark. We got here just after six and Emma, who is, I know she's the manager. I don't know if she owns Ashley RV Park, but I know she manages it. She's really nice. I called her when we pulled into the park and she said go to spot 58 and she kind of guided me in from where she was at the clubhouse because they closed the clubhouse at 7 and she said you know just go ahead and get situated get in and we'll just meet you in the morning and you can pay then which was great that allowed us to get in get settled get set up and then we left and went to dinner we went to it's a barbecue place here in town it starts with an S I'll link it or at least comment below what it was um, the food itself was good. The barbecue sauce, that was the first time we had ever been there. So I didn't know what our options were as far as sauce. And we got the honey hickory sauce, I believe. I'm, I don't remember the name of it. They asked what sauce we wanted. We said, I, I don't know. And how about a sweet sauce? And that's what they brought us. It was not very good. I didn't like it. John, he was okay with it. John and I got what was called the Oklahoma Sampler and we split it. It was $17.99. It came with two sides. One roll and I think it was like a pound of meat. It was brisket, smoked chicken, ham, one rib, and um, sausages like a Polish sausage type hot links maybe. I didn't try those. I don't like those. John said they were really good and they weren't spicy. I tried the chicken and the brisket and it was really good. The chicken itself was good. I didn't like the seasoning they put on it. The brisket was good. It was tender. I just did not like that barbecue sauce. The sides we got were um, John got spicy cowboy beans and I got crispy okra. We also got a side salad for $4.99 each. It was a trip to the salad bar. And when they brought us our food, there was cream corn on it, which we didn't order, and not my okra, which we did order. <laughs> So we got a hold of the, the waiter and he switched it out for us and let us keep the corn. I tried it. It was it was fine. It was good. It wasn't the runny cream corn. It was 
the corn that they mix with like cream cheese. This salad bar was good. There were lots of options on it. Madison ended up getting a kid's smoked turkey sandwich. I think it was turkey. And um, you could get whatever side you wanted or substitute your side for $2.00 for a salad bar and I think their kids meal was $5.99 and then um, it came with a cookie and a drink as well. Mallory got some, I think it was the Smokehouse Club sandwich. It was really big. She, she really liked it and her side was okra. Maggie got just a side of macaroni and cheese and ate kind of whatever she wanted from our plates. So it worked out and we all got drinks and the total with the tip was around $60 which for all five of us to go out at a sit-down restaurant to be served, that's pretty typical for us. There's another barbecue place in town. If we ever came back to Enid, we would probably try that one over the one we went to just to try something new. Yesterday, John and Madison were at their motorcycle school, and so the other two girls and I hung out here for the morning. And, oh goodness, we had breakfast at the trailer. We fixed breakfast, huh? Maggie and I had eggs and bacon, and she had a Pop-Tart. And Mallory, I don't remember what Mallory had. I think she had a Pop-Tart and a protein shake. And then John and Madison came back for lunch. We had sandwiches. Then all of us packed back up in the truck and went back to motorcycle school. We dropped Madison and John and the scooter off at motorcycle school. And Maggie and Mallory and I, they were having a Christmas holiday craft show. So we went there for a little while and walked around and looked at all the stuff and picked up a couple books. Yes. And we got a few Christmas presents for some of our family. And then we went to Walmart and got a few things there. I got mushroom. What? I got mushroom. A what? Mushroom. Mushroom? Mushroom. Mushroom? Some squishy little toy. And we got gas and drove around for a little bit. And then we went and picked up John and Madison. And we came back here and we had dinner. Yesterday, actually a couple of weeks ago, after grocery shopping, I just put a couple of chicken breasts in a gallon sized Ziploc bag with a jar full of salsa and put it in the freezer. So before we left, we grabbed one of those bags and tossed it in the freezer here. And because I knew I didn't really want to cook a lot this weekend, we brought the crock pot and set that up yesterday morning and I just dumped the chicken and the salsa in and it cooked all day long. So by the time we came back yesterday evening, dinner was ready to go. I just added some leftover black beans that we had, a small small can of corn and a block of cream cheese and then I shredded the chicken and it looks pretty gross <laughs> but it's really good and we had it with salad last night and we made a ton of it so today we had it for lunch and they had it on some low carb flour tortillas with cheese and whatever toppings they wanted. Sour cream is out and I see onions are out so they had that. We fixed Maggie some macaroni and cheese. I fixed some French onion dip, which is some sour cream and a packet of onion soup mix. And then we had vegetable chips with that today. So that was an easy lunch and now it's time to clean up.
Mattis and I are done with motorcycle school. We've got the scooter loaded up. We're going to head back to the trailer park as far as uh, as class went. We both passed. We can uh, Madison can go take her her driving test now. Pass that and get her motorcycle endorsement, and uh, I can just take take this certificate into the uh, into DPS and then into the tag office and get a new license with the motorcycle endorsement. I had a lot of fun. Madison was a, a bit anxious, um, but she got through it. I think it made her a lot better rider. I you know personally, I didn't have a lot of experience riding motorcycles. I I knew how to get on one, start it, and make it go, and uh, and keep it upright, and that was about it. Madison, I think, is a lot more confident, and uh, the instructor told us both that he could see a huge difference in both of us. I think they um, are proud of Madison, I sure am. We're going to head back to the trailer park, hook up, and head home. Hey, everyone. We are packed up and headed home. Um, Maggie's not ready to go home. She never is. Madison finished, and John finished motorcycle school today, and they both passed. So yay! We've been trying to do this since July. Since July, and it finally happened. No more cancellations. No more rescheduling. We're done. So now Wednesday, Madison goes and takes the rules of the road. Rules of the road. Of Oklahoma it, drivers. Test. Written test. Mm -hmm written test. She did her driving test today. So she just has to pass one more test and she is good to go with her permit. And for then, 30 days. For 30 days. And then she gets her license. If she stays out of trouble. Which she will. <laughs> <laughs> and then John, all he has to do is get um, an endorsement. Is that right? I take my certificate to the tag office and uh, they change my, they just put a the M endorsement on my driver's license. Yep. So super easy and we're having to use my phone tonight because the gopro was you couldn't see us it's too dark, <laughs> it's too dark already for that it's about 5 30 and we've got about a four hour drive ahead of us getting out a little later than we had hoped um, we have to get home tonight because it's going to be it's going to get down to 20. yeah we don't so. want to camp in that we have dogs at home that would really like to be inside for that so we're gonna get home tonight Thank you. 